Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And today, I'm excited, because we are looking at something really cool called Polywave. But first, as always, we're going to kick off with a track by a really cool artist, a friend of mine, and somebody who you really should get into. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dean Thomas, and this is a track of his called Release the Bat. <laughs> what a great way to kick off the show. 
Uh, now that, my friends, is how you make a music video with actors, a script, and, and everything. It's really cool, yeah? Uh, so uh, I think it was Thomas who put a link in there. So head over to Dean's channel because he makes some really cool stuff. He's a film producer. He's an awesome drummer. He's an awesome musician. Go and support him because he's awesome. Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Good to kick off some cool music. Hey, uh, if you're watching on Facebook... You're not because I don't stream that anymore. <laughs> but you can always join the Facebook. We, we all rise together group. <laughs> or you can uh, like, share and subscribe here at the YouTubes at youtube.com slash Jade Star. It's always nice to leave a like if you so would like to. See what I did there? We're also simulcast daily in the Twitch at twitch.tv slash how to app on iOS. And you can become a patron at the patron. And this week's patron has got a whole bunch of really cool giveaways. Count them. 10 copies of whichever swarm instrument you want for $5 and above tier members at the patron. And also I'm going to be giving away copies of today's app as well on the patron this week. So uh, that's really cool. Let's say hello to folks in the chat, as always, and then we'll jump in and play, shall we? Um, hello, Cy F, and good to see you, Thomas Christ, S, and Baltwick, who's on the show tomorrow. See what I did there? Poet, and I knew it. Absolutely, positively, 100% knew it. The man who's more than just a guy with a guitar will be on the show tomorrow, and we'll be talking smack. We're going to be talking smack. We'll be talking all sorts of things. You never know what we're going to talk about, except for maybe the first few questions and maybe the last one, which is a always a cert. But um, that is tomorrow, so join us definitely for that. Uh, the bear is here. Kim Harden Hudson has joined us too. Joe Glenn, hello to you. Um, who else? Deep gravity, the deepest of all gravities. Uh, Kev Hart is here. Kev Hart, I forgot my new pink. <laughs> I'm not even touching that, Kev. By the way, head over to Kev's channel, man, and check out his metal series. It's it's good. It's full of laughs, full of information. It's great. And it's metal. Um, Pete Johns is not doing a drive-by. He's actually on a desktop. He's uh, dealing with that luscious new MacBook Pro. Wonderful stuff. Uh, yeah. Who else is here? Let me scroll down and do some scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Let the wheel go scrolling. Rawhide. Not a box is here as well. Hello to you. Not a box. Not, not, not a box. Um, have I missed any? Andy Goldsby. Hello to you. Dean Thomas is here. The man. The legend. The man himself. We've got two filmmakers here right now. Dean Thomas is a filmmaker and Kev Hart is a filmmaker, if you didn't know. Very talented people. So if you'd like them to work for you, contact them and pay them a lot of money and they'll make you something really awesome that'll make Luma Fusion look like a toy. Uh, also, let me... Audible Video is here today too. Good to see you, Audible. Hope you've washed the vomit out of your mouth from yesterday. <laughs> God, what am I talking about? Um, I think I've got everything. Steven, you it's hello to you. Um, who else have I got? I think I've got most people. Have I missed anyone? I'm, and I'm terrible at this. Oh, we need a new host. All right, uh, Pete Burns Jones. Uh, that's right. I'm gently stroking my MacBook Pro whilst I still have it. Well, that's. <laughs> that's I'm glad you're stroking that, Pete, and not. <laughs> Typical drive by with Pete Jones. All right, let's jump over and look at the price drops for apps. Uh, because there's some notable things to pay attention to. Um, so, Four Pockets have got two two apps on sale midi strummer which is that wonderful guitar uh app which uh, is really cool 7.99 to 5.99 and um visual eq and i know kev hart swears by this app he uses he uses this on all of his stuff pretty much uh for the seer stuff for uh, metal shack uh this is four pockets so it's buck off so definitely uh, a seal of approval there if kev uses it uh, Bleaser's granulizers on sale uh, from seven ninety nine to four ninety nine. Um, Adam's still on sale too at ten bucks off. That's the notable stuff. But I forgot to mention this yesterday, and I'm going to mention it now. IK Multimedia have a up to fifty percent sale on at the moment of Lurson's mastering console. Now this is what I use on the Patron to master people's songs. So if you you're hearing everybody's songs on YML or Thomas Christ Let's Rock or over on Ron Ward Show or possibly on Metalhead Hippie Show, and you hear my name mentioned, 
this is what I've been using, what I use. And the price drop, US, I think. So you can see here, it's free to download. And I know it's got a price on it. Remember, apps aren't Pokemon. You don't need them all. But this is an investment. This is why I recommend this app. I think it's an investment for people who maybe want to have final touch but don't understand the intricacies of it this is a lot easier to use um so the play process thing so there's two in-app purchases so it's their half price from 64.99 to 32 and the hd engine which the hd engine in that basically um is like a luffs kind of meter it basically makes your song ready for digital distribution right so those are the two in-app purchases so it is on sale and in case you're like thinking, this is only on sale for a very short time, you do have until the end of November if you want to save up your cookies. Oops, I spilled my cookies. Oops, I got a chunky bit. A bit of trivia there from a movie. Who knows what movies those are from? I bet Kev does. <laughs> Alrighty, what are we looking at today? We're looking at a really cool app that possibly hasn't dropped where you are living right now. Okay, so uh, it's dropped here in Australia. It's just dropped here in Australia. So today's the day, November 4th, because uh, you guys are living in the past. And I'm in the future. I already have it, uh, <laughs> which is good stuff. So uh, let's have a search for it. Uh, you can actually, the good thing about it is you can pre-order it and it is free. So to get it, it's free, 100% free. Each of the uh, the presets that you get, you get about four or five. But then it's got a price tag to unlock it. And I think the Australian price tag is $12.99. So I'm guessing for you, you'd have to open it up yourself, the US store or the UK store. Probably around $7.99 for the upgrade. But as you're going to see, it's hell worth it. And I'm going to say it right now before we kick off. I was not expecting this app to be as good as what it is. This to me is in my top 10 apps of the year, possibly top five. This is one of the contenders for app of the year. This thing is fucking sick. And uh, let's just jump in and show you why, because this is not only a synth, this is a wavetable and this is a sequencer at the same time. And the possibilities to create stuff that is so out of the box and, and it is just really, really cool. So inventive. Uh, so it's by Finger Lab. And it's been made in conjunction with Jordan Root S, okay, behind Geo Shred, behind Dream Theater, the man himself who does invest a lot into iOS. So you, you know off the bat it's going to be good shit, man. Good shit. So let's jump in and have a look at it. Finger Lab, yeah, I know. Finger Lab. Look, look at Bear over there. Getting rousty. Rousty? Is that even a word? Um... <laughs> So let's open it up as a standalone first and show you what it's all about, shall we? So, and then we'll open up as an AUV3 and go through some stuff. So <coughs> what, what I really love about it is it's absolutely and utterly 100% unassuming. This very, very polite little UI is very unassuming. It doesn't look like there's much to it, but there is an incredible amount underneath the hood of this. There is so much customization, it is the tits. By the way, uh, No Wemis is a really good good artist. Sponsored today by No Wemis Coffee. So what you will see uh, from the onset here is four wonderfully different waveforms, yeah? And if I click on one of them and hit a key, uh, click on the next one. You get your standard waveforms. Wonderful stuff, yeah? But what you will notice is they're in a row. So you've got one, two, three, four. And what is, what, how this works is this is a sequencer. So you can create up to 16 step sequences of how many wave files you want. So if I touch my finger over here on these steps, and move this, look at that, and drag this to the right, I'm adding more and more of these waveforms here. And if I go all the way back to one, it just gives me one waveform. Pretty cool. So if I just move back to one step and hold down a middle C, there you go. 
Now, if I take these all the way to 16 and hold it down, so it's it moves along as it's in a sequence using these wavetables. Really clever stuff. And over towards the end here, you've got an arrow that is heading uh, that way. Oh man, my camera's all wrong. So <laughs> heading from left to right. If I click that, it goes the opposite way. So if I touch it again, it gives me a forward and back. So once it gets to the end, it goes all the way back home. Wee, 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 all the way home. Cool stuff. But let's bring this back just to one, yeah? Just so you can see exactly what's happening. So when I just hit one, okay. Pretty standard stuff. But here's where it gets interesting. So if I tap on the box here, just to show you with my finger, tap on it, you get a screen up the top here. So this is your edit screen and you can go in here and you can manipulate this to whatever you want. And here's the fun bit, with my finger, I can draw in whatever I want. Really cool, you can do it with a pencil if you like, with an Apple pencil if you own one. Whee. Now, <laughs> you can you can draw a dick if you want. It's a really bad dick. But there you go, there's a dick. <laughs> you can draw whatever the hell you want. You know, it doesn't really matter. Lots of stupid stuff. And over to the side, once you're in this edit screen, you'll see here over to the side, if you scroll along here, there's an absolute crap ton of, a, a huge library in here that you can choose from. Look at them all, so much. So you can just click one of them and there you go. So within there as well, you've also got a random button so you can randomly generate something. Boom, you can do it as many times as you want. You can go in reverse from whatever you have. And here's one of the best features, I believe, of this, is the copy-paste feature. Because you can, anything you draw in here, If see if I draw that and I really want to use this elsewhere, I can copy this. And uh, then if we jump out, so to jump out of the edit screen, you've got a little X up the top. Let's go back there. Uh, you can jump out. And now if I change these steps over here and add a few more, say we have five, and I want to, I want this one to be number three. I can now click on number three and hit paste, and I can paste these anywhere I want. So now when I hit play, hit, hit a key, pretty cool. And with each of these, I can go in and draw whatever I want. La la la. We can take this one and do some uh, nice square things. Let's do some of these, some buildings, jump out of there. Cool. So you get the idea of this sequencer, how you can have as many as you like, well, up to 16, but we'll stick with five for the moment. And so it's just the beginning though, because there's a whole lot of customization here. Let's concentrate first on the BPM, which is over here next to the number of steps. So you can see here we've got 120 BPM. Now if I go I hold down on here and move this up, the highest you can go is 360. So now when I hold down a key, so already you should get an idea in your head there, you can create some fascinating rhythms with this. So we can bring this all the way down even to something stupid like 36. Let's leave it at say one one ten, yeah. But not also you have hello Brad, good to see you. Um, I hope you're uh, you're back home and safe. Good to know. So Brad just went on a wonderful um, well, wave. It's a wave table sequencer. All right, it's a wave table sequencer. Audible, don't start with me or Russ will put you in a timeout. 
Uh, so also <laughs> you have here these little uh, key signatures here. And if I click between these, this changes from sixteenths to eighths and quarters. I love it when Audible writes sigh, because <laughs> normally on Clubhouse you can actually hear him sigh. <laughs> Good stuff. Right, so you can see here, you can really mess around with the speed of this. Also, they've got this button over here called Shift, right? So let's click this Shift button, see what happens. And let's move it up to maybe two, because it's set at zero. So as you can see, it creates these layers, all right? So if we move it up to seven, you can see by the colored lines, it's like they're following each other. So you're, it's creating like a, a, a layers of seven kind of rhythms behind it. Really clever stuff. But we'll look, talk more about that soon, yeah? So over here, we have this morphing thing as well. And this is set to 50 at the moment. If we pull this down to zero, you get a really defined uh, sound. Be uh, you, you'll really get a defined um, oral. <laughs> you'll hear the difference between the five waves. But if we turn it up to 100, it'll smooth it out a little bit more. Really nice stuff. So that is the basic principle of uh, how this, this thing works. So we'll have a look at the top now, These uh, all these top little sections here. So of course you've got a volume button up the top to you know change the volume, pretty explanatory. You also have an octave knob. You have a pitch knob, which can give you 12 minus 12, plus 12. So an octave up, octave down. Double touch on any of the knobs to bring them back to the middle. You also have an FM volume as well. So, so this is an FM synth as well. <laughs> cool right now you have your a a a d a s d r over here so you can change this out as well good stuff you can detune pretty standard stuff you've got a filter in the middle here pretty standard stuff that you get with any kind of synth yeah So already you're starting to hear that there's some pretty crazy stuff that is st starting to build up. So the last two sections here are two LFOs. Now, what's really fantastic about this is they've made these LFOs for dummies, for dum-dums, yeah? For if you're, you're confused about how to use an LFO, be prepared for some easy LFO implementation. All you got to do to add an LFO to anything on this is just tap here and you can have I think it's up to four LFOs right so if I tap here you'll notice all the buttons start flashing and it's not just the main knobs you'll see it's even the steps down here it's even the BPM it's even the the shift the morphing you can see the FX here are flashing everything's kind of got a flash even the second LFO so you can LFO to LFO and then from that LFO shift over it's really crazy. Plus, check this. If I go in here with my magic finger and pick this first one here, even jumping into the, the actual edit screen of this waveform, you can go in and fuck around with the LFO in here as well. The LFO implementation is amazing. So let's just quickly throw it on this, uh, this FM mod. 
So you'll see once you touch something, it gets added to this list here. So now when I hold down a key, you can see this FM mod is moving around. So I can add another one now. Let's do something a bit weird. So we'll touch here again. Let's touch the uh, BPM, shall we? So, and what's really cool, each one that you add, it puts a little number next to it. So you know that LFO1 is connected to that. And if you're using LFO2, there'll be a little number two next to it. So really cool. So now if I hold down a key, the BPM of the sequence should start moving as well. out there and you can add another one here you can go in add whatever you want we can add an octave to it if i like so within the lfo as well you've got your options here to decide the rate and the depth And what's really cool is each of these LFOs have their own waveform in here too that you can edit with a copy paste randomizer. You can choose from the library here as well. So we can scroll through this. Or I could even go in here uh, to this uh, first step or this, this last step, click on this, copy, jump out of here, and then go and paste that into this LFO. Yeah, really cool. Um, yes, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm got... Audible, nobody likes a backseat driver. Has anybody ever told you that before? <laughs> Fucking hell, give me a chance, man. Holy hell. Hey, what's going on, Gortium85? <laughs> Smack him up the head with your ass. <laughs> so yeah, you can go in here to the LFO, so, which I just was explaining, to copy uh, these in here. But you can actually draw in here as well. So you've got all these options. You can draw anywhere you want. And you've got a second LFO. So now we can make that second LFO connect to the first LFO. And... Let's get a bit deeper. You can even check this out. This is super. <laughs> Russ put order. <laughs> and it was it was Sai who did it. Holy hell! Wow, Sai's on fire. There you go. Just <laughs> suck it up, Audible. <laughs> right. So if we go in here to LFO two, and click on this, let's set LFO two to the steps. Right. So if I click it onto the steps now, as I hold down it to a chord, the steps increase. and then decrease. So if we change the arrow here to back and forward, So as you can see, there is an absolute crap ton of optimization here. And what's also really cool, before we even get into the automation and stuff, which there is, say I want to save, say I draw something really cool. Let's go into this first one here. So I've clicked on over here and I draw something like, let's draw the dick again. Let's do that. There's the dick and balls. Because, hey, this is a childish channel. And I want to save that. I can actually save that. I can hit save to library. And that is now saved in my library list. So uh, when I go to my library, you can see it creates one here. This is, uh, so my library is over here. When I click on that, it takes me straight to my user list. You have a factory list here and a user list. So you can save all of these and you can use these anywhere you want. Yeah. So I can click on this, copy it, and then I can go and put it over. Let's go and put it in the uh, this, this LFO. So I can click on that and hit paste. 
you can draw anything you want and put them anywhere. Let's add another LFO. So you can have three LFOs on each of the two. So we'll add one more and we'll add this to the FM volume. You see, if I take out the morphing, check what happens here. So let's pull the morphing right down to zero. Well, we've got some pretty uh, crazy stuff going on here. I, I don't know if you can do that. Let's uh, check it out. Let's go into uh, that particular one and we'll go to our library. If you hit plus, uh, you can only duplicate, so you can't name them, it looks like. I can't see anywhere that you can name them. Even if I click on it, yeah, it looks like you can't name them. But I do believe, um, if we jump out of there, that you can, so you can du duplicate them. Can you export them? Uh, you can, s where are we? I don't think you can export them. I'm pretty sure you can't, but, uh, you can create a new one at any time, uh, so you can create a whole new palette at any time. Anyway, let's have a look at the automation. Let's talk about the automation, um, and we'll jump over here. Just jump out of this. So uh, you'll notice over here we have three sections. So this is where your library is, where your user library is, and your factory ones. And look, it's not shy. There's a hell of a lot of things in here. You can scroll through these. And there is plenty to choose from to get yourself started, right? And you see how easy it is to draw your own, make your own. You can create anything super quick. Uh, you can loop these as well. So you can see in here, you can hit loop. You can sync them up to a clock. All that kind of, you know, usual stuff you can do with uh, these kind of apps. So let's have a look at the automation. So when I click on automation, you are given this whole new screen here. And uh, in the middle, you can see this volume and you've got some arrows left and right. So within here, you have a whole bunch of other features. So if we go through these quickly first, volume, panning, pitch, octaves, morphing, step length, step attack, and volume. So there's a hell of a lot of stuff in here. And all I need to do, <coughs> if I can hold my pencil, is draw things in and we're controlling the volume. So basically what I could do here, let's just uh, get out of here. We'll, we'll take, remove these, uh, we'll remove this. Uh, which one do I want to remove? I want to remove the uh, steps and we'll remove the BPM. So in automation, so if I turn, uh, you can save and load presets so you could move waves. He, well, he, he gets out of, <laughs> man, this guy's in a race. He's in a race with us. Man, I, I can't even I can't even get get out what I want to say. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, so let's have a look at this volume. So I could turn up a one. I could turn this one up and this one up, and I can turn these ones all the way down. And look what happens. Now, if I turn up the morphing. So that's controlling the volume. Now if we jump over to the next one, you can control the panning. So now you should be getting head spins. I hope you're not throwing up yet. And within each of these two, you'll notice you've got a randomization, so you can do that. All of these have a randomization. You can clear it at any time. And you, uh, let's do another random. And you, you can turn on morphing in here as well too. Really cool. So let's jump over to the next one. So this is our pitch. So not only uh, <laughs> are you controlling everything via your keyboard, 
You can go in here and draw pictures in. So check this out. I'm telling you, things can get even trippier, Dan. You can really take, you can keep this simple as hell, or you can take this to some really total extremes, create some drones, you can turn this into kind of rhythmic stuff. There's a lot of places you can go with this, and we'll go through some of the presets once we have a look at the interface and everything. So we've got pitch setting here, now we can jump over to even octaves. So we can go up an octave, down an octave, up two octaves, down, and then down two. <laughs> Let's turn up the, let's bring down the pace a bit. So we'll bring it down to say about, what do we do, about 64. <laughs> Crazy. Um, all right, so we've got some octaves set there. Let's jump over to the next one. So we've got morphing. So you even have a morphing screen here, which you can go in and decide how much, 100% or less than 100%. And you have to have a step length as well. So you can pull down the steps and decide how long you want each step to actually run. Man, I, I'm telling you, the the depth of this app, it looks so simple from the outset, you know? You open it up, it kind of looks like a little bit of a children's toy. You're like, all right, this is a little bit colorful and fun. But the depth of this is absolutely freaking mind-blowing. I, I really was super surprised by this. Uh, so you've got the attack as well. You can change the attack of each step. So we can have a small attack for... Let's hit a random one. So we'll, uh, what does Audible Video say? Lowering the octaves makes most of these sound more musical, useful, as I played with the guitar, with Pat Benatar. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry. I'm messing with you today. Let's do what Audible says and we'll bring down, yeah? Let's go down. All right, so let's bring up the BPM a little bit, a little bit faster. Now, you can start to understand how you can create some interesting rhythms. <laughs> like this sounds like a demented circus or something. Pretty cool. I, I'm su I, I'm super in love with this app. I think it's really good fun. Plus, there's more it's for your. Uh, you know, remember it's free to download. Plus, uh, so it's about seven ninety nine. Somebody can confirm oh, how much it is. I think because it's pre release, you can see the price of the in app purchase. You have a whole bunch of effects in here, and you know what? Let's make it a little bit weirder than what it already is, shall we? Let's turn on the tube amp. So you've got a tube amp with a drive and distortion. <laughs> well, that's some vibrato. What about some chorus?
And some delay. Let's just add it all. So really cool that they've also decided to add in some effects. So there you go. Not only does it have all this juicy, juicy stuff, but there's a shit ton of effects in there as well. So let's uh, just increase these steps a little bit. So in anything that you make, super easy to save. All you need to do is head up to the top here and hit save as, and you can save that. So when you jump into your presets now, you will see under your user, you have your saved stuff. You can copy, you've got copy and delete. Really easy. You can export current presets. You can import presets. So if some, one of your friends has made one that you'd like to use, they send it to you. You can import it in, you can export it nice and easily. However you like, send it to your files app, Dropbox, whatever you want to do. So super, super duper, magical, super califragilistic, SBLer, docious. It's really got a lot of features. So that's pretty much how you use it. Well, th that's all the knobs and controls and stuff like that. Um, how you use it is totally up to you because that's the beauty of this thing. It's, it's really ready-made for you to make some absolute crazy stuff or some really beautiful SFM synthesis, whatever you like. But I'm going to close out of here for now. Uh, and we're going to go into AUM because I have an instance of it running here. Uh, and remember, as I said, uh, those patrons over on the channel, I have... Three copies of this this week to give away. So I'll put the post up uh, today at some time so you can do the usual. Let's open it up here in uh, AUM. Uh, look at it going here. Look at this thing. While we're in here, I'll show you something else here. So uh, let's open up this particular one here. And you'll notice it's quite square. If we open this up here, you actually have a bit depth and an onset going over here. So if we change the bit depth, you'll see this smooths it out. Yeah? And you get a sign there, or you can get this really noisy. So if we turn this up, And remember, as I said, all these these two knobs over here are customizable as well. Utterly and totally customizable. Hello, Mobile Metal. Good to see you. And you've got an offset here. So check this out as we move the offset. So if I wanted to, I could jump out of here and I could add an LFO because there's a bunch of LFOs already on here. I could add this LFO here. And all these, as you know, all these little buttons start uh, shaking and grooving. And now we can jump over here and I can change the bit depth. So I can click on that. Now, you can see that is connected to the LFO and smoothing. Let's give it a bit more depth. But here's the deal, right? Uh, so this is something you need to pay attention to. Once you click on any of these within your chain, that becomes the only thing that you hear, right? So if I, now I hold down just a middle C, 
you're getting all four of them playing here. As soon as I open this single one, that's just by itself. So you can hear what's going on. So if you want to change it up and you... Now, let me just uh, bring this down. We'll move this over here. What am I trying to do? I want to bring this back to 120. All right, let's run through some of the presets, yeah? Because I want to show you all the stuff that's in here because there's plenty of presets and we've got about 14 minutes to go. Um, now, in the standalone, you saw the presets were kind of up the top here. When you've got it open in AUM, the presets are over here. So nice and compact. So let's go through. So all you need to do is click on them. And here's get in here. So you get some leads, you get loops, pads, FX, and your little user section here. And you can see it's saved all my user patches from when we had it open and standalone. When you get the free version, I think you get like four in each one to play with. When you pay for the in-app purchase, you can see you get a whole heap more to play with. But let's go through some, yeah? Um, let's... Uh Yeah, look, there's a whole lot of vintage stuff going on here. There's a whole lot going on in here. I mean, as I said at the beginning, Finger Lab uh, makes some really great apps. Jordan Rudess has dipped his finger into this as well. Into Finger Lab. Beautiful stuff, man. There's some really amazing rhythmic stuff going on. So if you jump out of here, you'll notice with this one, the BPM is speeding up and slowing down. So you're getting this kind of sort of tape speed up, slow down. Let's turn up the shift here and see what this does. And again, at any time, I can just go into this third one here and go, I don't know, I don't like that. We can change it to this. I think it's really clever. It's a very clever app. This one's called Barbecue. Let's run through some random stuff. So again, here you can see this is just two of them. And this BPM slowing down and speeding up. And it gets to a point where it catches up. Sick. And you can, you can add steps as you're going by just running your finger. Cool, let's go through some more stuff. Uh, in fact, let's throw on something like a uh, Rim de Gero.
beautiful. Uh, what have we got? Dozer. back down to maybe three. See, this one is only, there's only one running in this, with only a filter cut off. So I did have a rim de re, we rim de re gere on there. Let's have a look at some of the other ones. So we got some loops in here as well. Just so you can see what I'm doing. stuff so just one finger down on this one Cool, 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 cool! And you can see here, look at what's going on here. So, when we hold down, this third one, when we open it up, look what's going on with the, the mod. So this bit depth is changing here. Let's go in here and add to that. Let's add to the offset as well. Let's bring up the morphing. There's a lot of shit going on in this app. It's fucking wicked. Sorry for my language, but you you should be used to it by now. Um, so let's just uh, go down and play. The Harmonist. What's this sound like? 
Still going, man. It's doing its own thing. Have I got a? Uh, what do we got? So we're into pads now. Where were we? We were up to pads. Let's go into there's uh this magical one. Oops. We want my keyboard. So it's definitely not limited to like noise. Be 100% sure of that. There's some beautiful pads in here, and there's a hell of a lot of them. And you have a whole lot of effects in here as well, too. Let's uh, take out Room de Giro for a minute. <laughs> and as you can see with this one, this is absolutely drawn in. So we can go in here. Just wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Uh, one of my favorites. <laughs> What happened there? I think Uh, 
Uh, what else should we go through? Some. Let's add some steps to this. Good stuff, yeah. I definitely think this is one of the apps of the year for me. Um, you know, you, you guys know that I'm not really a keyboard player, definitely, by looking at the Swarm apps this week. Um, but this thing just tickles my fancy. There's so much to it. There's so much. I mean, it's it's definitely like a, a Swiss Army synth. There's a whole lot you can do with it. And, you know, amazing with sound effects. Um, this is a new app that's coming out called Zoa. Let's see what this does with this. This is in beta at the moment, and it's out next week. And I'll be showing you this next week, and it's going to be really fun. What do you think, guys? I reckon it's cool. Definitely 100%. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it's out here right now. It should be out in your time zone soon. Head over to the App Store and go and pre-order it because it's free. Have a play with it. Have a mess around. Have a fuck around because I'm sure it'll make you happy as much as it has made me happy. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today. As per usual, you guys rock. And uh, tomorrow we have SM Borthwick on the show. So please make sure you set your reminders for that because I've been hanging to have Scott on the show for the longest time. And I'm sure it's going to be a really good catch up and we're going to have a lot of cool stuff to talk about. And we're going to get a fair bit of insight, hopefully, into how he makes his music and his videos, especially that amazing pirate video that he made recently. So as always, my friends, do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better, and we all rise together. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great one. All right. I'm going to sign off doing a uh, mobile music one. Keep talking music. Bye-bye. <laughs>